today I'm going to introduce you to crochet. You're going to have two different size hooks. This is the big one, this is the medium size one. And depending on which hook you use, you need a type of yarn. If you're going to use this big hook, you can use this thicker kind of yarn. If you're going to use a medium size hook, you can use this thinner kind of yarn. So one of the little projects you're going to do is you're probably going to use this kind of yarn, the thin yarn, with this medium size hook. And I'll teach you how to make a rectangle that's 5 inches wide and 7 inches high. And when you're all done, we can sew all the rectangles together to make a little quilt. If you want to use this thicker yarn, you can make a quilt that goes really fast because the stitches are really large. So I use the large hook and this fatter yarn. Okay. So we're going to try and make our little five by seven. Notice how this has different yarns. It has plain blue, plain tan, and a multicolor. And see how I have the strings where I tie the different colors together? Notice the strings are always at the end, not the middle. So you can do a couple rows of one color, change out the color for another row. It depends what you want to do. All right, to get started, you need your thin yarn and your medium hook. Now, I'm sure you all know how to tie a knot. So, go around once. All right, so you have a loop and just one twist. Put your hook in, bring it up, make it somewhat tight, not strangled tight, but not loose and then tie it again so that you have a, a nice knot that won't come undone. Just like that. All right, once you have your knotted yarn around your hook, you wanna hold the tail between your thumb and your middle finger. It just keeps it, and you can keep pulling it down and you take your other hand and you hold your yarn. What you want to do is go around the hook and pull it through that loop that had the knot in it. And then you want to do that again, around the hook, pull it through. So that you only have one piece of yarn one piece of yarn on your hook. Now you have to keep pulling that down a little bit so it stays relatively tight. And you want to keep doing that until it's five inches long. Now that you know it's five inches across, and this is loose, you don't want it to be, you don't want to pull it skin tight, otherwise it won't be five inches. When you're satisfied, that it loses five, add one more stitch, one more stitch. So you're here. You still have one, one loop on the hook and you got your five inches of loops. This time, pull your hook out of the hole and put it in the other way. You're going to hold the loops with your middle finger and thumb like you did with this piece so that it's down. Now this part is the crochet part. You want to, I don't know if you can see, but you go past this. Where am I? Go 
past that. And what you want to do is go down, around once, pull out one, so now you have two, around once, and pull out two. Now you have one left, and you've just started your second row. Now, to find out where to put your hook next, is you find the next open hole. Not the one you worked in, but the next one, so that's this one. Go down, around once, pull through, now you have two on here. Around and pull out from both so that now you have one. Where do I go next? You find the next loop that you're, and there it is right there. You worked on this one, now you want this one. So down. Around once, pull out one, now you have two. Around once, pull out two. All right, you're almost to the end of your row. You have one more loop to go into. So go into your last loop, down, Around once, pull out one. Around, pull out two. Now, before you go the other direction, you need to make one more loop. One. Now you have to take the hook out carefully and turn it around the other way because now you're gonna go the other direction. Where do you start? Hold this part with your thumb and middle finger so you can see. Hold this with this hand. And now look right there, kind of like a V. So you wanna go down and just catch one side of it around Pull out, around, pull through two. Now find that V for the next one right there. Down, around, out, around, out two. So just a reminder, when you get to the end, there's your last down, around, out, around, out two. You need to make that one extra loop before you start your next row the other way and turn your crochet back around. And if you start looking, it's starting to look like a rectangle. And it should be about five inches wide. And you keep going till it's seven inches tall. By the way, if you find that you've made a mistake, all you do is pull it out. Pull it out to where your mistake was, find your loop, and you can start from there. All right, this time we're gonna start a beanie. And if you notice, it's just a circle around and around and around and around until you get to the very top and that's where it ends. Okay. So for the beanie, once again, you wanna start with your medium size hook and your thin yarn. And again, you wanna make sure you knot that knot so that it fits the size of the hook and you start it again just the way 
you did your square. Around once, pull through. Around once, pull through. Around once, pull through. So for your beanie, you've made a long chain of single stitches. And you wrap it around your head to make sure that it's not too loose and not too tight. And if you're satisfied with that length, we can move forward. If you think it's too loose, undo a couple chains. Just pull them out, that's fine. If it's too tight, add another chain. Now, to start going around in a circle, make sure this is flat, not twisted. Just pull it out and go to the very end where your tail is. I'm going to call it a tail. And take your hook and find the first loop and stick your hook in the first loop. Notice this is still attached here. This is your tail and this is your yarn. So, do a round one, pull through, a round one, pull through two. Now find that loop, the next one, crochet hook in, down, around, pull out one, around, pull out two. Find the next loop, down, around one, pull out, around one, pull out two. And you just keep going around and around and around and around until you get thick enough or tall enough where you think that's your hat. Notice how this is not a rectangle. It's rounded here. When I got about to this point, I skipped every other stitch. So I dropped a stitch. I didn't go in every loop. And I dropped every other one and I kept going around dropping every other one until I finally got to the top and I had like two stitches left. And then I tied it off and tucked it inside.